Records can have a designated owner or owners. A user can have ownership of a record themselves or be sharing the workload of records that are being created. This is where queues will come into place. Queues are a collection of records to prioritize, distribute, and assign records to teams who share workloads. They are like holding areas where records wait for a user to pick them up and assign them as their own. You can think of a queue like a user because it shares some of the same characteristics as a record owner. Users can access records belonging to queues using list views. This is where members can jump in and take ownership of any record within a queue that they belong to. Queues are available for standard objects like cases and leads and even custom objects. You can also create queues for your tasks, so think about your to-do lists. A couple examples of when to use queues. You can use queues to distribute new leads created to a group of junior sales reps, a sales development team, or even marketing. Use queues to better manage new cases based off of a user's experience across different products and services, or route new projects to users when you're using a custom object to capture that data. You can add records to a queue a couple different ways. One, they could be added automatically. Admins can create assignment rules to add records to a queue when they are created based off of specific record criteria. Or manually, change the record owner of the record to a queue, which will appear like a user. So for example, change the lead owner of the lead to a queue or the lead owner of a queue to an individual user. So who can join a queue? An admin can choose which users can join queues as queue members. Queue members can consist of individual users, roles and roles in their subordinates, which align to the role hierarchy, and public groups, which are commonly used when creating sharing roles for record level access. Some advantages of using queues. You can use queues to manage shared workloads easier. It's just not one user responsible for all the new records to help with time management and connection to the customers quicker. They're also very helpful if you have users away, so if they're out sick or on vacation, and they are easily accessible using list views. List views is one of my most favorite features in Salesforce. They are simple, but yet so effective. Let's jump into an org to view how users access queues to take ownership of a record and where queues are managed within the setup menu. Now within this org, I'm gonna navigate over to the leads tab because once queues are created by the admin, they are going to appear within the list view for those users. So for example, I'm going to navigate from this recently viewed list view down to the US sales team queue. And what you can see here is I have a handful of records that have been assigned to this US sales team queue. As my team is working through this workload of new leads, what we're able to do is accept that lead as our own. So I can come in here and I can select Brian Hip as one of my leads. And you notice once I selected that record at the top right hand corner, I see this accept button. Once I accept that lead, that lead ownership has moved from the queue to myself as an individual user. Now where queues are set, let's jump into our setup menu. Now within the setup menu, I'm gonna use my quick find. I'm gonna to start to type in queues and you can see that this is under our users header. If I click queues here, what you can see is that US sales team queue was created. So that's why we have that list view available. If I click into this US sales team queue, what we're also going to be able to see is the members. So who is comprising of this queue? Well, it is going to be the roles and subordinates of the US sales manager role within my role hierarchy. So this is how a user can accept a record within a queue that they are a member of and where the admin will be creating and managing queues within the setup menu.